figure out why her butt cheek hurts a flashback to the glute bridge on the bench here <laughs> and then flashback to the squat taking photos here me and these cuties are on our way to a wine tasting i don't like the taste of wine this is so pretty i can't We drank some wine. Um, the only one I liked was the dessert wine. The rest tastes like wine, so they were disgusting. I'm so like refined. Good luck finding a husband now. And every time I take a sip, I'm like. Ugh, la, la. Look at me drinking wine. And I didn't even flinch. Fancy food is supposed to leave you hungry. It's a good thing we got two parts before this one. Yeah. <laughs> and this is our second food item. Emma is a big photographer to the stars. Look how good this ribeye is. Sosha has the halibut. Emma has the lamb. Lamb! Yum. Because you know what I believe? What? That the more innocent animals, the better it tastes. <laughs> Is your fork always supposed to be in your left hand? Because I'm always switching to go like this. You're not supposed to. So you pick up your knife. Stay like this. It's clearly a content trip. It's called what, Emma? A clubcation? This is what it's like going on vacation with Jessica Watson. Look the booze. Army crawl. Look at this view. I got a fart. <laughs> Anything for the shot? Look how nice these houses are. They're all walkout basements. That's my dream house. My friends are so gorgeous. <laughs> How you say as Emma does this? <laughs> it's just 4 p.m. and I'm already like not about these. Wow, that feels so much better. When you come from Alberta and go to Kelowna, you look like fun. this woman just said that Emma looks like she's drunk and she's giving her shit. Emma got ten dollars because she's drunk and someone told her she's drunk. <laughs> I just found out that we had a $400 lunch that Sosha paid for. Sugar mama! Sugar mama. I didn't Sugar even have to mama. give her oral sex for that. <laughs> What's a seagull gonna do with a tortilla? Oh, he's, oh, he's getting it wet. Oh! He's like, this is too crunchy. Went to bed. Good night, you fucking bitches. Yeah, yeah. This is how Emma's day is going. Awesome. <laughs> we just got to the pool, but we can't go in because someone vomited in it. And it wasn't me. <laughs> but good thing he's taking the chunks out. I love swimming in bile. So I'm on my way to dinner. Emma's not with me because she's still vomiting her guts out. Make a time lapse of my experience here on the beach, and if someone tells me to shut it off, I'm gonna tell them to go fuck their grandpa.
can you tell that I just fell asleep on the beach for an hour? <laughs> We're up and at it. It's quite early, about 11.30 p.m. Wait. AM. We are going to see the waterfalls today, but first we're going to get Tim Hortons because we really want to do like splurge on breakfast. We'll get two hash Two. And bougie. <laughs> and then we're going to the drugstore because my period cramps are not tolerable. Look how gorgeous these houses are. Kelowna is so rich. This looks like a long, long, long hike. I don't want to do it. <laughs> beautiful we hiked for three hours we didn't find the falls and who knew it was right at the entry gate i don't regret it at all it's such a beautiful waterfall and i got some killer shots for the gram This is my theatrical hat for photos. Don't know if you can see, but it's ridiculous. And people keep saying, they're like, I love your hat. And I'm like, do you really love my hat? Cause it's fucking crazy. It's theatrical. You're not supposed to like it. You're supposed to be like, wow, that's obnoxious. Do you guys think these are blueberries? Cause I ate some. I must convince they aren't, but haven't got sick yet. I can't do this right now. Oh my god, we're at the cake. Look how fucking good this food is. I got the bone-in ribeye. And I got the blue cheese bacon wrapped filet. Holy fuck. I had three orgasms while eating it. I got the Oscar scallop and shrimp on top. Holy fuck. I'm so wet. So I'm editing old vlog footage. And I don't think I can do it anymore. Because it makes me so fucking depressed. Because I'm 50 pounds heavier than this bitch. And I want to look like her so bad. Even though this girl is so depressed. Hates herself. Hates her body. Hates her life. Has no self esteem whatsoever. But I'm like yeah but, but she has low body fat. Look, she has low body fat. So I don't know if I'm in a place where I can be looking at myself like this anymore. I mean, I'm sure it's a good exercise in self-esteem or changing like my fat phobic ideas or thinking that having a low body fat makes you happier. And I know all this thinking like isn't healthy and isn't rational, but in reality, I wanna be skinny so fucking bad. I mean, not that bad because I've still been <laughs> eating stuff I shouldn't be eating. But I'm trying to live in moderation. I'm trying to make lifestyle changes. I've been losing no more than one to two pounds a week because I want to do this in the healthiest way possible. But when I see a video of myself, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not eating ever again. I will fucking make myself ill and unhealthy just to look like that. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. You're happy now. You're healthy now. You're completing goals now. You're leaving the house now. You don't want to kill yourself every single day now. You have self worth now. You're not allowing toxic and negative people in your life. You're not treating people negatively. And I'm 188 pounds. And that really doesn't matter because what I look like doesn't really matter. For the majority of my life, literally the last 23 years, I thought my body was my only asset. When I was that size, I thought I looked like this. I mean, I'm grateful for the changes my body has had because it's taught me so much about myself, but I can't lie to you fucking guys. I wanna look like that so bad that I'm willing to fucking do unhealthy things, but I'm not going to because my weight and my size and the shape of my body do not matter. I wanna be stronger and I wanna be healthier and I wanna be happier. But just because I want all those things, doesn't mean that my brain doesn't go, yeah, but Jessica, if you just fucking take 7,000 laxatives. <gasps> then here's the other thing. Will I always look back and have a hard time looking at that? Looking at stuff of me because I'll, I'll always think that I looked better before. Maybe it is an asset to teach myself to accept what was and accept what is and be happy with both. But then I worry, like if I were to upload this content, that people are going to look at that and go, Wow, Jessica used to be really hot. Look what happened to her now. But the people 
who in my mind would be saying those things are not people that add value to my life, are not people that I give a fuck about what they think about me. So I don't know why my made up idea about what they would say would have any relevance to my life. But it's the critic in the back of my head that told me for the last year that I can't post on social media and I can't show anyone what I look like because they're going to say you've gone downhill, you've got ugly, you've got fat, you're not as good as you used to be. But the crazy thing is I'm so much better than I used to be because I've learned that there are so many more things that are important to me than just the way I look. But still, like, just talking about this makes me emotional. Obviously, I'm in a lot better place now, but I just think back to, I guess it would have been like, five to six months ago I had every single mirror in my house covered because I couldn't stand the way that I looked and it was really hard for me to accept that I gained 70 pounds in literally like four to five months because my brain couldn't even keep up with how fast that that happened and I, I couldn't process the change so every time I looked in the mirror I was just in complete shock that body dysmorphia has come a long way because now I'm familiar with my body and when I look at stuff like that I find it shocking. I sit here and I say all these things like love yourself and accept yourself. I'm down like over 25 pounds so I mean that helps <laughs> but of course I'm, I'm just never satisfied with where I am and obviously a lot of people want to have a low body fat percentage so I guess I'm just sitting here trying to convince myself that the way I am is good enough and worthy and beautiful and attractive <laughs> but I don't believe those things yet and maybe this is like the therapy that they make you do the hard work that they make you do you have to sit there and face the shit you don't want to face and my logic with this right now is like this doesn't make me feel good it makes me feel uncomfortable so I shouldn't do it but maybe sitting and going through this content and accepting that my body has changed and that it will continue to change and my weight will fluctuate as long as I'm on this earth will be a good thing for me because change comes when you're uncomfortable. Does everyone feel like this? I imagine women who've been pregnant and given birth having the changes that their body goes through and wishing that maybe they look like what they did before but at the same time appreciating that your body does so much for you and brought another human being into this world. But then I look at some women who literally don't age and fucking look like there's 20 still and I'm like, can I do that? Is that a thing? If I put enough retinol on my face. But I had a really good workout today. 23 year old Jessica with that body in my head. And I'm like, and you wanna know the worst part about it? She had no fucking clue what she had. Hey, you know what that makes me realize? I could say the same thing about myself right now. Oh, you're only 188 pounds and you thought you were fat. Who knows, I could get pregnant and be 250 pounds and be watching this video and back and crying and going, I wish I looked like that. Why didn't she appreciate what she had? She ain't fat, bruh. She just a little thick. Yeah, okay, this is irrational. Thank you for helping me figure this out, guys. I'm going to bed. Love you. Good night, bitches. I'm going to bed. If you just watched this entire video, including me rant about body image, I fucking love you. You should comment down below when you discovered your sexuality and what meal you would eat if you were on death row. Okay. Good night, bitch-achos.